Hi guys, welcome back. I've been seeing some comments asking me what I think about Neo today, so I want to come give you a quick update on that. What's happening with Neo? I said in my previous video that there will be two ways for the institutions to do a watch sale, right? If you haven't checked out that video, you can go back to check it out. So I said one of the way is to drive down the price with the help of some bad news or market correction, right? So let's see what happened. So today, January 15, Xiaomi and other Chinese companies slept with US restriction as Trump's term wins down. US blacklists nine more Chinese companies, including smartphone maker Xiaomi. US government blacklisted Chinese smartphone maker Xiaomi. And the market was doing correction today. And the market was doing correction today. You see, touching the 20-day moving average. So that's why it really has both the bad news and the market correction. This watch sale is for people to take profit here and for people to buy here in order to increase the average price of chips to go up. That's why you can see the chips are getting less here and getting more here. You see, before its average price is 40 something, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 53, 55, 56. See, it's working. It just means that they are working. You can see more and more chips at the top now versus a few days ago, okay? And the news today, I think the news today, a lot of the retail investors are freaking out about this. Blacklisting more Chinese companies. And I think the institutions are reading this. And then you look at the volume. When it was going up, the volume kept going up. And when it's going down, the volume keep going down. It just tells me that the ones selling are retail investors. So if you want to know my plan for NEO, you should check out my previous video. I have a more detailed explanation. Today, I'm just doing a quick update based on the last video. And I also want to tell you I bought Xiaomi today. This might be crazy, but I bought Xiaomi because I like the company a lot. I've wanted to buy it for a long time, but I never had a good entry point. I like it not because of the smartphone products. I like it because of the smart home products. I see a lot of homes in China are renovating to become more smart home system. And it's a whole ecosystem to be smart home. And when you have this ecosystem, basically everything in your home would be the brand of Xiaomi or some, someone else. But Xiaomi is building an ecosystem. So it's not just one product, it's the whole ecosystem. And I see a lot of new real estate projects that would come with the smart home system to begin with. I see this big trend coming. So that's why I've wanted to buy Xiaomi for a while. If it continue dropping, I will add more. So don't follow me if you don't believe in this company. If you don't believe in this company, this is not the right investment for you. Because I just want to do a quick update. So if you want to know more about my plan, you should really check out my last video because I have a much more detailed explanation there. I'm also watching this one, ticker symbol TAL. It's a Chinese education company. And I, I like this company, I like the CEO, and the stock has been beaten down for a while now. So I'm gonna watch out for this one. That's it for now. And I'm gonna post a more in-depth video to explain what I see with these few Chinese companies I mentioned from 2021, okay? So look forward to my next video, thank you. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you can find my video helpful and make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a big like. It would help me a lot. Thank you.